Amidst the depths of despair, a tigress bestows life upon twin cubs. The initial one remains lifeless, devoid of breath, an apparent stillness of death. Yet the ensuing actions will undoubtedly leave you in sheer amazement. The act of birthing for the first time is a daunting experience for anyone. However, when it pertains to a critically endangered species and a severe issue with one of the newborns, it transforms into a truly terrifying situation for all who are present. Before we embark on this captivating journey, we kindly invite you to show your support by engaging with our content. Please consider giving this video a thumbs up, subscribing to our channel, and leaving a thoughtful comment stating, I've subscribed. Additionally, if you find this story as inspiring as we do, don't forget to share it with your loved ones. Your support means the world to us. At 11 a.m., the six-year-old Sumatran tiger, Caitlin, entered labor, drawing considerable attention due to her endangered status. In the early afternoon, Caitlin was carefully settled in an enclosure filled with hay, just in the nick of time. Strong contractions signaling the imminent birth began around 4 p.m. Caitlin's chief caretaker, Giles, maintained a vigilant presence by her side, akin to a guardian of hope. Every moment of this delicate process unfolded under his watchful gaze, each heartbeat signifying a precious life they couldn't afford to lose. However, Caitlin had no prior experience with giving birth. This was an entirely novel experience for her, and her instincts would need to guide her. It remained uncertain whether she would become agitated with Giles or fully accept his presence during this crucial event, potentially escalating into a hazardous situation. Nevertheless, they had been diligently preparing for this moment every day over the past four months. Giles and his team, comprising eight skilled handlers, employ a unique approach to animal care. Their hands-on relationship with tigers has developed and matured throughout the years. Their approach to engaging with one of nature's apex predators up close is not rooted in the pursuit of excitement. Rather, it's founded on reverence for these creatures and their imperative role in species preservation. Giles remained by Caitlin's side every step of the way. Back at the office, everyone was enthralled by the live birth feed on a monitor. A hush enveloped the room as all eyes remained riveted on the screen. The clock read 5.07 p.m. when the first cub made its entrance. Anticipation was palpable, and everyone was on edge, resolute in their determination not to let another valuable Sumatran tiger escape their grasp. Every passing moment carried weight, and every decision woven into the fabric of survival became essential. Then calamity befell them, and it would push Caitlin's resilience and maternal instinct to their very limits. When the cub emerged, it appeared delicate, unable to muster that vital first breath. It could only manage faint, audible gasps. It was as if its tiny lungs lacked the strength to draw the life-sustaining air, and its existence started to fade away. The anguish of losing a piece of one's world, a fragment of the heart, is unimaginable. Yet, a mother defies the encroaching darkness, and Caitlin was no exception to this truth. Caitlin's team of caregivers were in a state of panic, with Giles pacing anxiously back and forth. Their desire to help was strong, but they faced a daunting question. How could they intervene effectively? Their challenge wasn't limited to saving a newborn Sumatran tiger cub on the brink of death. They were also burdened with the knowledge that every lost cub impacted the fate of an entire species. Caitlin and her cubs held tremendous significance because Sumatran tigers teetered on the edge of extinction. Recent polls had revealed that only 400 to 600 of these majestic creatures remained on our planet. Each healthy cub represented a crucial breakthrough in the desperate battle to protect the species from extinction. This was why the world had taken a keen interest when Caitlin, pregnant with her first litter, became the center of attention in an Australian zoo. All these thoughts and concerns swirled in the minds of Giles and his team of caregivers as they stood, helplessly, witnessing the unfolding drama. Simultaneously, the cub was locked in a grim struggle for its life. Its minuscule body trembled with each desperate attempt to draw in life-sustaining oxygen into its fragile lungs. Every effort caused its delicate frame to shake as it fought tenaciously for survival. One minute dragged into the next, and then a second passed, causing the hopeful expectations for the cub's survival to dwindle rapidly. Then there was a pivotal moment when Caitlin's innate maternal instincts took charge. In this instant, a blend of new hope and the prevailing fear in everyone's hearts spurred her into decisive action. She initiated a process akin to what occurs during the birth of a human baby. When a human infant is born, a nurse steps in, gently cleansing the baby, ensuring that no amniotic fluid remains. They carefully clear any liquids from the baby's nose to enable easy breathing. 
All the while, the nurse massages the baby's back and chest, encouraging a rhythmic and natural breathing pattern. Considering that this was Caitlin's inaugural pregnancy, it's quite reasonable that she might not have been entirely certain about what to do. However, much like countless mothers across various species, she delved into her innate instincts, which were paramount for her cub's survival. Without giving in to panic, she initiated a process of tenderly licking her cub. She continued this ritual, turning the cub with her tongue and meticulously licking its chest, then repeating the action to cover the tiny ribs and its back. Caitlin, the motherly Sumatran tigress, began to see the fruits of her labor. The tiny cub exhibited unwavering courage as it redoubled its efforts to draw in precious air. Faint sounds emerged, unmistakable indicators that some oxygen was finally reaching the diminutive lungs. However, the struggle was far from concluded. At this juncture, Caitlin cast a bewildered glance in the direction of Giles and her dedicated team of caregivers. Something was afoot, and it was unfolding rapidly. Recall that this marked Caitlin's inaugural pregnancy, making every aspect of the experience entirely novel to her. The clock now read 5.39 p.m., and the tigress had already waged a relentless 30-minute battle to safeguard the life of her firstborn cub. Yet, her ordeal was far from over. She abruptly went into labor with a second cub, even as the fate of the first one hung precariously in the balance. The situation remained perilous, with many uncertainties still to be faced. During this round, Mother Nature appeared to be in her favor. The arrival of the second cub was swift and seemingly trouble-free. It presented itself as a picture of good health, a tiny bundle of fur wriggling and exploring its newfound world, giving the impression that it had started to breathe independently. At that very moment, to the immense relief of all witnesses, the second cub let out a robust cry. This unmistakably signified that it was breathing autonomously and adapting to life outside the safety of its mother's womb, where it had spent the past 100 days. Giles and the entire team were overwhelmed with joy. With at least one of the cubs proving to be healthy, all indications pointed towards its survival. The second twin was lively, kicking and crying, both promising signs of its well-being. This development allowed Caitlin to redirect her attention to the first cub. Despite its faint cries, it remained locked in a life-or-death struggle to breathe independently. Caitlin resumed her unrelenting care, licking and gently maneuvering the cub again and again. As time continued to pass, hope dangled precariously by a thread. It was as if Giles shared in Caitlin's struggle to revive the ailing cub. His fists clenched and his jaw tightly set. Tiger caregivers, you see, firmly believe that the essence of excellent caregiving lies in profound love and unwavering dedication to the animals in their charge. Their primary focus centers on nurturing a strong bond with the tigers. Giles's profound affection for Caitlin and the team's unwavering dedication were palpable throughout this trying ordeal. It was as if they were collectively championing Caitlin and the cub from the depths of their souls, as if they were willing the cub to breathe, to live. The other zoo staff, observing the birth on a television monitor, were similarly on the edge of their seats, wholly engrossed in the cub's struggle for survival to the exclusion of all else. In the meantime, the second cub wasted no time, displaying remarkable vitality and effortlessly drawing in each breath. Caitlin's gentle caresses and movements appeared to act as a catalyst, reawakening the first cub's dormant lungs, gradually improving its breathing. Initially, her gentle licks yielded only modest results, and the cub continued to struggle for a proper breath. However, Caitlin refused to yield, mirroring the unyielding determination of any mother driven by instinct. She persisted in her efforts, ceaselessly licking her cub until it could breathe independently. The cub not only survived, but has since thrived as a robust male Sumatran tiger, making a valuable addition to the gene pool and marking another significant milestone in the ongoing survival of the species. This narrative of maternal instinct and survival has resonated deeply with me. What aspect of this story resonated with you the most? Please share your thoughts in the comments.